What are some of the things that stand out when it comes to what game developers are doing in VR that, and that we're seeing here? So this is a whole new world to explore. And this is a whole new world to not just explore as a user, but as a developer, to go in and learn these new gameplay mechanics, to learn what it's like to actually control a character from more of this kind of third person God view when you're looking down this God's eye and you see this little character and he feels real and then you can control him. And it feels like this real little toy that you're able to run around and there's a whole new set of mechanics that come with that because you don't want to move the camera. You, the camera needs to be controlled by your head. How much can you move the world and how do you move the world? Locomotion um, can be uncomfortable in VR, but a number of developers have figured out how to do some subtle locomotion. So there's just this whole new set of uh, challenges to un, you know, get past and to overcome, which is super exciting for developers. And this has been something that developers have been dreaming of for so many decades. We've, most of us got started in games to finally make VR games one day. And we always talk about like, one day we're gonna make games on the holodeck. And that's now, and that day has come. And this is it. And so tons of developers are rushing in to make these great diff, you know, different kinds of experiences. And speaking of the holodeck, can you talk about Surreal Vision and what that opens up for Oculus with these mixed uh, environments moving forward? So Surreal is a personal uh, favorite of mine in terms of part of the long-term vision and uh, an acquisition that we recently made, Surreal Vision. It's a small team, three guys, uh, Richard, Renato, and Steven, brilliant, brilliant PhD uh, computer vision scientists, researchers that have worked on a number of the different computer vision techniques like SLAM++ and Connect Fusion and DTAM and there's all these different dynamic fusion which Richard just won uh, best paper at the uh, CVR, uh, let's see, what was it? CPVR uh, conference, which is the top computer vision conference. Um, and so there's an awesome potential of where this will go in the future. This isn't for this generation of VR. This is really for a few generations from now um, that's built around 3D reconstruction, augmented VR, the ability to put on a headset and actually see the room that you're in and actually see you know, your hands and body potentially fully and see other avatars completely with full resolution and detail. So we're not there yet. It's gonna be, it's a long-term vision, which is why it's part of Oculus Research, but 3D reconstruction, and if you look at some of the links um, that Richard, Renato, and Steven have worked on, some of their previous uh, projects, they're really super exciting for what that means. Imagine you put on a rift, you look around, and you see the room that you're in and now you can start augmenting that room with VR, but it's all rendered in 3D, and so you'll truly believe you're in it, but then you can start changing it. And there's just a lot of awesome, you know, exciting opportunities there, but it's still, it's a bit of waste. This, that's not this generation. So here at A3, we're really focused on the Rift and the new touch controller prototype. And one thing we didn't talk about is uh, indie specifically and the funding you guys are doing. Can you talk a little about how you're encouraging people to create VR games for Oculus? So we're looking at indies, AAA developers, all kinds of developers around the world creating some of the very best content out there. And we want to help them. And when there is no consumer market yet for VR, it's just the beginning, we haven't launched our consumer product yet. So to get developers to support them, to get them um, the kind of financial funding that they need so that they can focus on making this great content, we're going out there to actually write checks and help them. And we're, we've set up VR jams. We have Oculus Studios, which has been funding a number of the experiences here at the show today. Um, and we've now announced a $10 million indie program, which is to go out and fund independent studios, small, much smaller teams, uh, but who want to focus full time and make made for VR, made for Rift experiences. And it's something that I'm personally super excited about because if you look at any of the most recent new big platforms that have launched, like let's say mobile with smartphones, a lot of the greatest content actually came from indies and came from startups that were had a sole mission like Oculus. We have a sole mission on VR. This isn't a side project. It's not something that we're you know, waking up and thinking, oh, I'll do 20% of my day. I, I might think about VR. This is 110% of our lives are spent on just making VR work. And we want to enable indies to do the same. We want to enable independent studios to have 110% of their life spent on VR, aside after family and things like that. When it comes to the VR landscape, looking ahead to next year, when you, there will be multiple 
uh, devices out there. How important are exclusives, do you feel? And are there comparisons to what Sony and Microsoft do on their end with exclusive titles? So we don't really look at them necessarily as exclusives, as we're out there funding content. We're funding them from the very beginning. So these games wouldn't exist if we didn't fund them. It's In a way, it's like our own first party teams, but instead of having a bunch of internal first party teams, like you see Nintendo and Sony and uh, Microsoft have on the console side, where they have their own internal game teams making content for their device, we're going out there and we're funding a number of these great teams from the very beginning to make content for the Rift and to really focus on getting the experience just totally perfect for the Rift for us to launch with or to come shortly after launch. And that's less about it being exclusive and more about it being focused on a great experience for the Rift.